All right, so this will go on. So the water, what are what we're con doing science. Okay, what we're concerned with here is that the condensation is hitting the balloon and then it goes back into the uh, flask. Why is that a problem, Alex? Um, because the water will not, um, if the water would keep on evaporating and then keep the same, the same, um, width in the water in the flask. Right. And then we'll never have it evaporated all the way and the balloon will never get any bigger. Yeah. So we have to get it hot enough to where it'll, this maybe won't be too cold. Maybe it never will work. Guys, what is something we could do to keep the water from condensing on this balloon if we could control everything in here? Science. Of course. Our mind. <laughs> what if the temper what if the classroom temperature was was hotter? If the I don't know. We would have probably been scorching hot or we would have probably died. Hot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm thinking that if the water if the water never condensed on the balloon, if this balloon was hot enough, it wouldn't condense on the balloon, and it would stay all a gas in here and never drip back down. But apparently, that's not might, might not happen. See how this cooled down, but the balloon didn't. Right? Why not? Because the temperature is cold. But why didn't the balloon? Oh, because right. hot here goes up. Right. Okay, this is all cold now. So why did this still? Why is this still inflated? Because there's still some. Do you still? There's still what? Hot air. 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 Uh, do we have more? Jacket more mo Yes, we have too many molecules. All right. You guys knew that before. Okay, there it goes. Oh, that's pretty good. 